So here we have the Fiat 500 1.2 lounge on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a three door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. Okay, so as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Uh, so the white dial is your speedometer, the black one just inside that is the rev counter, and then in the dead center you can see the total miles on this car, which are 13,649. We then got the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges displayed there as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls on either side. We've also then got the ability to answer and end phone calls, and we have voice activation for the phone. So you can hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list, and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired the phone up, and that is done over on the touch screen in the center. First of all, hit the phone button, and then follow the instructions on screen from there. When it comes to radio in this car, We've got DAB, as you can see just there, AM and FM radio all available to us. To listen to your own music, hit media. Nothing is connected at the moment, but you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. You can connect up a USB device, as you can see shown on screen at the moment, and also an auxiliary device as well. This car's got satellite navigation. It's TomTom Tom Satellite Navigation. There's a full video showing exactly how this works on both our website and uh, Facebook page, which are well worth checking out. You can go back to the beginning again from there. Working our way down, that button makes the power steering light for parking in city centres, for example. That one turns your hazard warning lights on and your front and rear fog lights are operated just there. We then have the air conditioning for the car. So temperature is controlled with this dial, fan speed with this one. Then you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed and whether or not the air is coming from the outside of the car or you're closing off the vents and recirculating the air that's in the car. Once you're happy with all of those settings, you'll see there's a little light on in the middle of that button. So that's the air conditioning off, air conditioning on again. We then have the electric windows, a five speed manual gearbox, and down the bottom here, a 12 volt charging socket and the auxiliary and USB inputs. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.